So hello everyone. Welcome to Lorenzo Data Solutions. My name is Anipi Abraham, SAP Success Factors Consultant and a Corporate Trainer. So before I continue to say anything in this uh, short video, I want to say one thing that this is my own view or opinion and does not represent anyone. So today, um, I just want to explain about uh, latest enhancements, release updates for uh, Employee Central Payroll H1 2023 updates. So here I have already posted it on my website. I'm sure that some of you have gone through it, but I have decided to under make you understand just wanted to help you to understand. I just wanted to explain about a few of the, uh, you know, uh, major updates. I have posted it already on my website. So when we talk about uh, the release schedule, the preview release, it's already live uh, 28th of uh, April 2023. The production release uh, 2nd of June. Uh, 2023 it is uh, going to take place so the first uh, the enhancement I want to explain and even posted it here on the site about uh, enhanced application log for uh, replication push replication with a transaction code SLG one so now uh, you know the replication happens immediately uh, you know whenever there are some job events uh, you know that takes place like hire rehire termination promotion and uh, something like that so now with this slg1 uh, transaction code for uh, application log for uh, uh, you know a replication process it helps you to analyze the errors okay so but now with this enhancement you know with this enhancement that means for the existing one they have enhanced that it helps you the log data about the replication so it helps you to analyze the errors easily and faster where it was not available earlier so if a customers wants to use this feature then they should uh, you know implement the support package uh, EA iPhone HR SB B9 must be installed in the system. Okay, so otherwise, this feature will not be available and you cannot use uh, uh, to get the analyzing the errors easily and faster way. Now, here is the uh, that how it looks like. Uh, so, whatever the replication of the job is trans uh, transferred, you can see. The push replication when it was happened and it is triggered and even user details and uh, everything is going to be processed and it helps you to analyze the details and uh, so that you can rectify it if there are any errors identified okay so in the current version the data about the push replication is available in the application log with the transaction code slg1 and it shows the errors for all the relevant users provided in the replication process. So uh, earlier, the application log was not a part of the uh, SLG1 uh, transaction code for the application, uh, you know, a replication process. Okay, now it includes the from the H1 2023 release. So here are the some of the technical details and uh, so those who want to know it you can go through it and it is related to the replication process employee master data replication next uh, i want to explain about uh, uh, another enhancement with the h1 2023 release that is enhanced uh, alert to manage in a payroll control center okay so uh, my alert application uh, you have it in the payroll control center it helps you to filter you know filtering of uh, alerts based on the status you know like key indicators 
like uh, you know alerts we can say the stat is like unassigned alerts resolved alerts in a descent in a descending order payroll administrator can uh, filter these statuses and uh, identify uh, filtering of uh, alert management in the payroll control center so this enhancement improves uh, the experience for uh, your payroll administrators on alert management in the payroll control center okay so this package supports spb9 must be installed in the system so here we have uh, the screenshot and with a detailed uh, explanation the filtering like a resolved unresolved here we have some of the status as i told you alerts unassigned alerts resolved and you know something you can see some of the statuses and you can filter and you can get the alert management by the administrators and your work is more simplified now okay so this feature is for a payroll control center the previous one slg1 is for a point-to-point -point replication next uh, the third enhancement in uh, employee central payroll h1 2023 release is uh, additional pay types uh, for payment information okay so in a success factors employee central the payment information portlet allows you to configure and use uh, the additional uh, pay types but now these additional pay types also allows you to enable country specific region or country region specific uh, of employees payment information also available from this latest version okay so currently success factors employee central payment information you can configure and use eight additional pay types i think before it was only supporting five only five pay types yeah no, not sorry i'm sorry not five it's only uh, four previously only four pay types but now you can configure and add and use eight additional pay types and which supports country region specific also the payment information as well so this is another enhancement sap improved with regarding the the pay types for uh, your payment information for your employee central payroll configurations so here are the few technical details and you can go through it if you want to go through uh, you know update yourself but remember this update is related to the country specific requirement next let me explain to you another one new onboarding dashboard for a payroll task so now sap added there is onboarding as a standard event for a country new zealand and uk so why they have added because they have added this feature to support the specific onboarding task for your payroll administrators for example if an employee or onboarding they are going to choose a tax code stc and in an onboarding form the payroll administrator needs to start a manual process to create the info type p0313 in our employee central payroll system okay so for this initiation payroll task needs to be available in employee central so that your payroll administrator can easily identify and make the necessary changes updated and it is also going to be updated the corresponding info type p0313 and again the support package sb b9 must be installed in the system and uh, here is a screenshot that you are going to do it in the payroll task unified configuration and admin center and you select your country and you have uh, the payroll task you have onboarding as an event and you can specify it like your uh, standard events for your corresponding info type uh, for a tax new zealand which is a 313 okay and here are the some of the technical details and please i ref i request you all to go through it if required for you maybe sometimes you can use this as a reference for your client uh, presentations and all uh, maybe it is going to help you up to certain extent next uh, another update is uh, 
a new mapping logic for a public holiday enhancement in SAP payroll system. Actually, uh, recently in the recent uh, uh, employee central uh, enhancement or with regarding the time management, uh, uh, there is an info type called substitution info type 2003. And uh, we also have a holiday cat category. Now you have holiday work pattern. These are available now. Now SAP introduced even in employee central as well. Like you have full, half, none. And you have now like uh, holiday classes like one, two, zero in our SAP payroll system. So you need to map it. So using this particular feature, okay? So your success factors employee central time management provides you more flexible way that you can configure your public holidays in your SAP payroll system. So here you can see that uh, uh, the data type holiday calendar, so holiday category, and you are going to mapping via customer table or SAP table or identical mapping. So there are different types we have and you are going to do it like with our employee central, like a, a partial or specific here, you have holiday category and uh, your uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, which is like your holiday classes. Those who know about SAP HCM payroll configurations will understand uh, these screenshots better. But it is more useful those who are working in uh, employee central payroll. So I am sure that uh, whatever I have explained a few of the updates in this uh, short video uh, is helpful for you. And uh, finally, thanks so much for watching this short video. And uh, see you again in the next time with a new topic. Bye everyone.